Critiquing government taxes, particularly their inefficiency, lies at the heart of this discussion. Speaker, the Prime Minister's carbon tax applies on barns, on grain drying, on fertilizers, on off-farm vehicles. It costs literally tens of thousands of dollars for many individual farmers, all of which gets passed on. But the Prime Minister, instead of defending his taxes, resorted to a really wacko and unhinged claim that if Canadians just paid more taxes, there would be suddenly less fires. I thought that water and not taxes put out fires. But maybe the Prime Minister can clarify, how high would his tax have to go for forest fires to stop? Yeah. Mr. Speaker, Canadians are facing the impacts of the extreme weather events that come from climate change that are unfortunately getting worse and worse every year. That that is why our government from uh, from 2015 onwards has stepped up in the fight against climate change. He didn't answer my question. You know, now he says that his taxes are going to make Canada a high tech wonderland um, before his claim was that it was going to stop forest fires. It's him that made the link, not me. Obviously, I think the link between the two is absolutely ridiculous because his tax is not an environmental plan. It's a money collecting plan. It's a plan of government greed. So I'll ask the question again. He wants to hike the tax to 61 cents a liter. If it gets to that high and people are all starving in the streets, will that stop the forest fires? Do better with the Canada carbon rebate that comes in four times a year than the price on pollution costs them. That's a plan to fight climate change and put money in people's Pierre Poilievre voices his concerns about the financial strain that the carbon tax places on individuals and businesses, especially farmers. He underscores the need for skepticism regarding individual responsibility, economic freedom, and government intervention. Poilievre argues that tax hikes do not effectively tackle environmental issues, such as forest fires. He champions democratic values that favor practical solutions and a belief in limited government. Questioning Trudeau's policies is seen as essential for holding the government accountable and ensuring that these policies genuinely benefit the public, rather than merely serving as revenue generators. This dialogue shapes how we perceive government and environmental responsibility, as well as the personal impact of these policies. There is a significant skepticism about the value of economic freedom and the extent of government intervention. Poilievre's critique of the carbon tax resonates with broader concerns about excessive government control and its effects on individual livelihoods. The emphasis on practical solutions and personal responsibility within a democratic framework is part of the larger debate on climate change and taxation. The existential anxiety sparked by this debate highlights the search for authenticity and meaningful action in response to climate change. Individuals must confront these issues and strive for consistency and truth in their beliefs and actions.